home is is where things happen. It's where your family has their experiences, makes their memories. Uh, so you need to have a home. It doesn't have to be a house. It can be an apartment. It can be a trailer. It can be you know a van where you travel across the country. Uh, whatever it is, that's your home, and you, you know you make a lot of memories there. Home is a source of pride. You know, home ownership is part of the American dream. Everyone likes to have a home. I went from very stable to moving around a lot. I moved 20 times before I hit 18. Like, we've moved a lot as well, like, from when I first had my daughter. So I just want to get them somewhere, get them familiar with the neighborhood and grow up with people that they know, what will grow to know. I, I just, you know, want to go somewhere and never leave. Habitat in Cleveland occupies a pretty unique space because we are the only organization doing home ownership from the day one. The global recession and uh, the foreclosure crisis, the epicenter was here in Cleveland. And so literally you could go down almost any street in Cleveland and see uh, boarded up houses. And what we saw was that there were enough on one street. We might turn around that whole street and that is what we set off to do and that is what we've done. So for the past six years we focused on oh, almost 125, 130 rehabs now um, that have been in targeted neighborhoods where we can have an impact. And we have seen that in fact our revitalization activity has a much broader impact on the neighborhood than what you might think of just by doing a house. Um, right now we're on Real Avenue in the Clark Fulton neighborhood and we have six houses that we are working on. Um, there are only about 20 houses on this block, um, so completing six houses on this block is going to really transform it. One of the challenges for me was to have a house that aesthetically fits into the neighborhoods that these people are going into because there's potential stigma of habitat families that you know which house is theirs because it doesn't look like the rest of the houses in the neighborhood. So to have a house that fit in, that fit habitat's guidelines, and was a functional and livable structure that was simple enough for people to build was, was a, a big challenge for the project. And we help each other, and I help those that don't know. And so we, we feed off of each other, and we both come away from it having more knowledge than when we, when we got here. As a young architect, you don't always have the opportunity that something that, that comes from your hand really gets built that directly. And to, to see something that, you know, I would finish drawings one week and then go out to the field and see people actually putting it together and, and rising out of the ground was very rewarding. For our families, uh, they are often the, the first person in their family to own a home. I'm very excited. This would be something that she can, that she can really call her own and she can um, pass that value on to her children and they can see that having their own and give it to their children too. They're setting a foundation what they can build on and go in the future that having a stable home is something I couldn't give her due to circumstances that, you know, in my life, but in her life, it can make it better. You want your children to do better and be better than you, and she can make it better way for her children. So I'm very excited for her, and I'm very proud of her that she's coming this far doing this. Oh, don't cry. This is happiness. Now you got me crying. I'm fine. <laughs> All doing this for the homeowners, so I, I really like seeing the reactions, the positive reactions from the homeowners. Being able to move in six new families onto this street that care about each other because they already know one another and care about this community and their home is really going to transform this whole street and hopefully that spreads out into the community.